So Brent, it's Friday, it's prologue day. How did prologue go for you? No, prologue was all right. It bit, I didn't go heavy like we normally go out and about, so we lightened it up. And then, yeah, it just has its pros and cons, but we never prologue that flash, so we're not really worried. We always claw our way back from the back of the field through. And how did the car go otherwise? Um, not quite what you wanted, but how did it go otherwise? No, nah, very happy. And yeah, the bits that Simon did at SPH and all the maintenance and extra stuff we got done after think that needed doing and yeah, it's all paid off. Made me life a lot easier than compared to normal. Yes, because normally the car would go back over to um, WA and you'd work on it, but this time it stayed here and somebody else worked on it. Yeah, it's the first time that I've actually done it. It's like, yeah, but I don't know it was easier doing it or flying in because it was a very long trip back across the, or I should say the sky this time, not across the paddock, but yeah, she was a long night and day yesterday. Now, in terms of the track out there, how was the track? No, the track's really good. But uh, yeah, as we went, we started early on, but it was, yeah, fairly rough. Already in nice, deep ruts, but yeah, be interesting as the weekend goes on. I think it, yeah, it will get worse. Stay in the rut. Go on, go on, go on. Watch the book. And this little test track here, which we use for prologues, quite different to some of the stuff out there. Yes, it is. Like, we drove, drove the track this morning. They've done a lot, a lot of maintenance out the back and where it was there, nasty last year. So I think the first two laps will be really fast two laps, but then, yeah, it'll be interesting if it deteriorates or if it holds up for the whole weekend. Now it's four sections, so there's quite a lot of racing yet to go. There is a lot of racing to go, so it's anyone's game. So Sean, this is not the first time you've visited this track, but it's the first time you've done it in a Can-Am. Yeah, good fun, much much nicer having a suspension compared to our dodgy old car we brought over last year, but the car last year got us around. The Can-Am, we'll, we're yet to see. Now what did you feel like going around this track, because it's a bit different to most of the ones we've done so far this year? No, it's good fun, a little bit shorter, I quite like the shorter races, there's less to remember, less things to catch you out, you just got to get used to it and continue doing the same thing in lap by lap. Yeah, so we use the Lawrence GPS system. Back home I use LeadNav, so I'm still adapting to the Lawrence. It's a slightly different GPS system. But basically you put in a point at the coordinate of where there's a call that you want to make. So when people use the pace notes, they call every corner. I don't make notes for every corner. I make notes for all the washouts and stuff that's going to actually catch us out. So you call everything you can see. And then as it comes up in the GPS, you know something's coming up that you're not going to be able to see or you're going to catch you out and you call that for your driver and just let them know beforehand. Looking forward to the next two days? Yeah, going to be good fun. Going to get battered to death for 10 laps, but that's racing, eh? <laughs> <laughs> 